History is filled with many trials and tribulations, the past being filled with bloody wars, along with the rising cities falling by brutality and suffrage. But one city that can never be forgotten is Çatalhöyük, located in modern-day central Turkey, which was a thriving civilization at the time. Much of the structures made in Çatalhöyük were made from mud brick that was tightly compacted together. With such a high population, these houses needed to be structurally sound to withhold all of the people. These houses were intertwined with each other, and the doors were on the roof of the house. These houses were occupied for about 80 years before being carefully dismantled in which more houses were built. This great style of architecture caused many tools and crafts to be kept safe. Due to this preservation, the tools and crafts survived the rough wind of time, such as pottery, obsidian objects, baskets, clay balls, along with beads and bone tools. Many tools that were uncovered drew items such as obsidian knives that were primarily used to craft. These tools were also used to carve statues and paintings which would integrate into their religion. With such an overpopulated city, one question comes to mind. Where did they bury the dead? And the short answer is, in the very houses they lived in. With such highly populated city, the people didn't have big tombs to comfort them into the afterlife but it was rather suggested that there were up to 60 burials in one house. To make things more uncomfortable, the skeletons were often found in pieces, some without arms or legs, but most often, they were found without heads. With such a great history, why did Chateau fall? The truth is, every kingdom or civilization dies eventually. The downfall of Chateau grew close around 6610 BC, to 6,250 BCE. Many believe that the city ran out of resources and the soil grew bad. Many others believe that the fatal disease spread it throughout the highly populated place. But the only fact is during this time, population had experienced a decline. 